In this video tutorial, I will explain SQL injection attacks using a practical example. I will scan for an SQL injection vulnerability and then hack into a web page by exploiting injection code. After that, I will explain exactly how the attack works and I will also show you how to plug the hole in your website. The first thing I will do is go to the web scanner interface. In the start URL, I type in the URL of the website I wish to scan and then I select a profile. Now for most people the default profile is sufficient because it's going to scan for the most common types of vulnerabilities but I'm looking specifically for classic SQL injections and I'm going to select exactly that profile. So once I've done all that all I have to do is click on start a scan will immediately begin the progress moves pretty fast and if I look in the web alert section, I've already detected two SQL injection attacks on this page. If I drill down to get more information, click on the plus over there, I immediately see that the uh, offending uh, uh, line is the list products of PHP script. The list products of PHP script, I'll go into a bit more detail, uh, will, will, will take two different parameters, one is called artist, the other one is called cat, that's for category, and both of these have an SQL injection vulnerability. Let's look at the cat vulnerability. If I go on the right hand side, I could see that there's a description of the vulnerability. It also explains what an SQL injection is. Scroll a bit lower, I find the impact of the vulnerability, some information on how union can be used to exploit this vulnerability and some details about the attack over here. Now this is the more interesting part. Cat is the offending variable. When it is set to one apostrophe, an error is generated on the, on the server and that error is uh, bubbled up to the client. Now, what does this mean? An SQL error is a big indication that an SQL injection attack is actually possible through variable manipulation. I have a few options over here. One of them, which I'm going to use, is launch the attack with the HTTP editor. This will allow me to really exploit the attack always within the same tool, within the Akinetics Web Vulnerability Scanner. Let's click over there. I will view the page. Over here is the interesting part. This is the page that the user is going to see from his browser. This is the page that the, the hacker will probably be seeing himself. Over here is the exact error, which is showing I have a MySQL error uh, at line one because of an extra apostrophe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send a request to the server, which, is, uh, which will not generate the error, so that you take a look at what the page should actually look like. Oh, to do that, I will click on Edit Request Variables. I will edit the Get Variables. You can see there is a cat parameter over there. The value is all cryptic. That's because of URL encoding, which is necessary if you want spaces, commas, and other types of uh, characters inside URLs. Um, a kinetics tool will allow me to decode all the fields in one click. I could see inject there. I'm going to change this, which is an injection code, to simply cat1. Uh, one. And one is a legitimate variable. And it means give me all the uh, data from the first catalog in uh, my page. I will uh, make that more clear once I run the script. I'll click on start now. What I have here is actually a list of posters, a list of graphic posters created by us specific artists within category one. Okay, this website is, is, a, is a shopping cart for graphical posters created by artists. Now, the posters list is, uh, is okay. Uh, it gives me a poster ID, a description for that poster, a price for that poster, a title, the artist name. I could see if I scroll down, I have the second ID, the third ID. In general, all the way to the bottom, it is showing me different posters with different prices by different artists and when the last poster is reached I just have normal searches and browsing. So this is the normal web page as it should look. Let me now put some real injection code and let's see what happens. So I will pull out the injection code from here. I will explain it in a second. Go back into the tool. I'm going to change the get variables. Now instead of putting cat1 I'm going to paste in the injection code. This is in plain text. I will use the URL encoder tool to, uh, to URL encode my, uh, my SQL injection. I'm using a union injection over here. Again, I will explain that in a minute. 
click on OK, click on Start, and now I've injected SQL. Everything looks good for now. The posters are there, poster one, poster two, from the same catalog with the same artists. Uh, look at this though. At a point, poster ID stops being a poster ID but becomes somebody's name. The description seems to be a username with a not very original password. I also have an email address and uh, what looks like a credit card number. If I scroll down a bit lower, I have the guest user with his password. I have another user and another user. I've pretty much got all the users from the website. So what has happened here? I have the posters, the graphical posters, which is normal, and then appended to that, it seems that I have all the data from the users table on this particular database. I'm going to now go into the listproducts.php code to show you exactly how that vulnerability happened and how to fix it. This is the vulnerable code over here. This is listproducts.php. It lists the different graphical posters created by the artists. This line here, constructs an SQL command. This line here executes the SQL command. And the following line shows an error if there was some sort of failure. This is what's showing the error to the hacker, actually. Now, the SQL command is pretty standard. You have a select statement. The select statement joins several, uh, several tables together with a few uh, parameters, with a get clause. And then at the end is the actual vulnerability where the programmer uh, has appended the cat variable, the user input, uh, which is cat, uh, is appended it to the select statement without checking it enough. So what happens? In addition to the select command, the hacker is able to inject this type of code and what this code does, it, uh, it leaves the standard select as it was, but it appends a union to it, and that union is going to join the results of the posters from the catalog and data from the user's table. If you're familiar with SQL commands, you will understand how the union works. So I'm going to do select the name, the username, password, email, and credit card number from the user's table and add that to the result set of uh, the uh, query. I'll take that off, execute the command, the result is OK, the result is stored inside this variable. Further on in this script, I use result. The MySQL fetch array uh, loop is going to take all the rows from result and use standard HTML to echo them out to the user. If uh, I've unioned uh, the data from the user's table, it will first show the posters that are in the database and then it will show the users. Now, how do I fix uh, this problem? I have some uh, handy fix code over here. I'm going to paste that in and I will explain how it works. Okay. So this code has remained the same. Nothing has changed over there, but I added one important line over here. The, I'm using the isInt uh, function of PHP and I'm testing the cat variable. I'm saying, is the cat variable an integer? If it's not an integer, it's not a catalog ID, and I'm not interested in processing it. So if this fails, if this returns false, which means I don't have an integer, I will echo to the user, category not found. I decide I don't reveal anything to the user, and I will never execute the MySQL query. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna test if it works. Back into the tool. In a normal uh, tool, I will have to rescan the entire web page, which, which could take hours sometimes. It really could take a long time. In Akinetics, there's a very, very handy feature. I'm going to right click on uh, the alert, which, uh, which I fixed, and I could retest the alerts. So I'm only going to test this particular alert. I'll click on it now. Instant results, because it's just uh, one alert being done. OK, let's see. It shows. You see, it's crossed out over here. So I could see that the vulnerability which was there before doesn't exist. I could move on to fixing other vulnerabilities. Let's check out what the result is. Back into the HTTP editor, the same uh, union injection, click on start, and instead of showing the user list, I see category has not been found. This is the code that I wanted to show. I hope you found this informative. If you would like to uh, try out the tool for yourself, just click on the download trial, go to the website, 
and you'll be able to get a free edition of the Akinetics Web Vulnerability Scanner where you could really experiment with the different parts of the tool, try out your own SQL injections, see if it helps you with your, with your, um, with your website security. It's better to scan this, the, this, your website before the hacker does it, and that's for obvious reasons.